Welcome back everyone to my let's play of Pokemon Fire Red and just in front of me right here is Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. Uh, but before I fight him I just want to make sure my team is up to standards. Uh, looking at my team now, Mankey has fainted but I think I might be able to just about manage him with this current setup. So let's do this shit. Let's do this Giovanni. So, I must say, I'm impressed you got it. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader. For your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Oh, dearie me, Giovanni. You cruel man. You have a nice suit, though, I have to say. Alright, an Onyx. Um, okay, this should be fine. Uh, Kadabra isn't the greatest Pokemon to go against an Onyx, but he has a high special attack. And I don't think Onyx's special defense is very high, so I might even one-shot this thing. Yes, I did indeed. Okay, let's see what his next Pokemon is. It's a Kangaskhan. It's a normal Pokemon. We'll, uh, we'll send out Charmeleon for this because I believe Kangaskhan may be his highest level Pokemon in this team, so I just want to make sure that I'm up for the battle. Yes, level 29, that's a higher level. We'll use a good old Mega Punch on this thing. Oh dear, that was not very good at all, was it guys? Okay, I think it has a high defense, so we'll just use Ember this time, see if that does a lot of damage. No, okay, by the looks of things, Kangaskhan has a super high special and normal defense, but uh, we'll just, we'll just whittle him down a bit. Unless he uses a Hyper Potion or something, I should be fine. Oh dear, a Mega Punch too. Oh my god. That is just ridiculous, guys. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to piss him off with Gloom because Gloom is the troll Pokemon. All he, all he has in life is just to annoy people. That's, that's his goal in life. Pissing people off. And I noticed Giovanni likes to do a couple of Tail Whips, then a, um, then a Mega Punch, so it one-shots my Pokemon, which is a very smart uh, idea, actually. I'm quite proud of him, to be honest with you guys. Okay, got him down a bit. Let's do some flashes. Let's lower his accuracy. I'm gonna do what that sand slash did to me last episode. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, absorb should be fine. Ooh, okay, I didn't get flinched. I honestly thought uh, Bite usually flinches my Pokemon most of the time, so I got quite lucky there. Oh, look at that, guys. He's right down to bright red health. Yeah, he's gonna die out from the poison. Or oh, even the absorb. That was that was actually a pretty tough battle. Kangaskhan is a good Pokemon. So yeah, we'll see what he sends out next. Holy moly. Level 23, nice stuff. Oh yes, you guys told me uh, some really interesting news actually. I found out that Gloom learns Acid, I think at level 24, and he learns, I think, Petal Dance, or Petal Dance at 39 or something. If that's true, um, I should evolve Gloom with a Leaf Stone at level 39. Uh, oh, wrong move, oopsie daisy. Because uh, Vile Plume doesn't learn uh, any moves, uh, I believe, so I may as well just grind up the Gloom a bit and then uh, use the Leaf Stone when he learns the new special attacks. So uh, thank you guys for your supreme Pokemon knowledge, it's really helped me out. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to have a really good team by the time I hit the Elite Four. Even though saying that though, I don't really expect to have a Gloom too much longer because I need to get myself a Water Pokemon, probably a Gyarados soon. So off screen, I'll probably evolve my Magikarp and um, get a Gyarados. And we defeated Giovanni. What? This can't be. He's a rich guy giving away 3,000 bucks. I see that you raise Pokemon with utmost care. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I will step aside this time, but we uh, I hope we meet again. Teleporting technique activated. And I obtained the Sylph Scope, which is just what I needed. Like, I really needed that, because now I can go into the ghost tower in a town I've already visited, actually, a little while ago. And, um, oops daisy and actually do some shit, which, uh, makes a change. Floor one. Okay, hopefully- oh, dearie me. Are you lost, little mouse? You rude, rude grunt. I will put you in your place for that horrible line. 
Grind Grimer? Okay. Cadabra use this spoon and eat you for eat you for breakfast, Grimer. Super effective. And a coughing. We'll keep Kadabra out for this. It's great to have a psychic Pokemon, to be honest. It's great against these poison Pokemon. Also, it's going to be great for one of the future gyms, which is a poison gym. So Kadabra will be my main, my main Pokemon at that time. Level 32. Great stuff. Oh, he still hasn't learned Psychic. That'll be a little later on, I guess. Can't wait to get that, because that's the ultimate Psychic attack, uh, obviously. Uh, oh, another trainer. Okay, let's do this. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I'll just get past you then. Uh, I think it's up here, actually. And there we go. We are now out of the of the Team Rocket hideout, and we are in the arcade, but I don't really give two shits about the arcade, so I'll leave this place for now. I will go into this Pokemon Center. It's always great to, uh, to have Pokemon Centers in every city. They are quite important, though, if you think about it. It's basically our hospitals, really. Like this game, you know, in the Pokemon world, there's Poker Centers, but there's no hospitals, you know? It doesn't matter if the, play the trainer gets injured, so it's all about the Pokemon. Okay, uh, I believe I have a bicycle. And so we'll get the bicycle out and we'll go riding off back to uh, the ghost town. Or whatever it's called. Um, oh, there it is. Ding, ding. And so, oh, dear me, I'm going to have to actually go back through this tunnel. Um, oh, actually, I just remembered. Uh, I could take some shortcuts if I should should so choose. That's a tongue twister. I, I could take some shortcuts uh, by getting some water from that building. I got the leaf stone from last episode. Uh, but <laughs> I just can't be asked to go back in the building, to be honest with you guys. So we'll just take the long way. Um, okay. Oop, oop, oop. No, leave me alone. Oh no, he has psychic abilities. He's got. He he was looking the opposite direction. He span around. He's even sitting down. He did a three, like a 180 spin on the floor. Oh, polywag. Okay. Oh, this is quite annoying. Good old Psybeam. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking what uh, final team I'll have for the Elite Four. I don't really believe in legendaries because the legend legendaries are just OP, really, aren't they? They uh, they have higher overall stats. They have super powerful attacks, and it's because there's only one of them in each uh, well in each game. For example, the uh, the three birds, uh, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. Moltres being the shit one, in my opinion. Yeah, fuck fuck, fuck Moltres. Um, and then you have Mewtwo and. Um, I think that's about it actually in this game, and Mew, but you don't get Mew unless you cheat or you go to, I think it's a special event, that, well there was a special event where you could get Mew, but obviously I don't have him. And I don't really believe in the ideas of using legendaries, um, I, I do want a Dragonite really, because Dragonite is badass, but he takes forever to grind, literally forever, and, and then there's um... I'll, I'll have a Gyarados, no matter what. I'll have Gyarados, Charizard, that's two great Pokemon. And, um... I think I'll uh, have an Electabuzz, because he's a great electric Pokemon. Um, I'll have a Pidgeot, I think. Um, that's four Pokemon right there. Not uh, Okay, let me just get my Repels out. I seriously, seriously hate random Pokemon battles. I don't mind trainers, but when it comes to random Pokemon battles, that just just irritates me beyond belief. Now that I think about it, I don't think I needed to use that repel because I don't think there are Pokemon on this floor. I think it's the next floor, so I've just basically wasted a repel. Even we could uh, not identify the wayward ghosts. A Sylph scope might be able to unmask them. Okay, so look at the the floors all uh, wavy and scary, but I have a Sylph scope. It makes uh, unseeable Pokemon visible. Yeah, I mean, this isn't the time to... Oh, no. So, doesn't the floor turn normal? No? Is, is the floor going to be like this the entire way? Oh, what a ridiculous joke. <laughs> Seriously, you fucked up individual. What is wrong with you? D dude! You're weird. Okay, a ghastly. Oh, my God. Some freaking... <laughs> her face. What is wrong with her face? Uh, Psybeam. 
Ah, oh, sick! Kadabra is even super effective against ghost Pokemon. This is going to be great in the Elite Four against the ghost Elite Four. Um, and basically, if you don't know what the Elite Four is, or you've never played Pokemon, they're the, uh, the, the top four trainers in the world. So you have to fight them in a row. It's like basically the final task is to defeat the Elite Four and then defeat the current champion who's previously beaten the Elite Four. And he's uh, pretty badass too. And you, you know, you'll see that later in the game when I actually get to the Elite Four, whenever that'll be. Oh my god, this is a nightmare. Be gone, Melvin Spirit, or male Malevolent Spirit. She thinks me, as a human being, is a ghost. What are, What is wrong with you? You spend too much time in the shade. Like me, actually. I, I'm ne I never get out of my room. I'm a dweller. I'll use Confusion, because that might one-shot it. I don't want to waste too many Psy Beams. Save those for the evolved forms, like Haunter and stuff. Super effective. Super erective. Oh, that's a bad word, Yami. The spirit left. That was your own Pokemon that I just beat. Uh oh. Kiki 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 kwa. My god, just can you speak English for me, please? And what's with them all having just one single Gassy at level 22 or oh, 24 actually? But seriously, what is wrong? What is wrong with you people? You're all messed up in the head. And there we go, that was easy, once again. Level 33, is he gonna learn Psychic now, please? Roleplay, I don't even know what that does. So we'll have a quick read, because reading is good. The user mimics the foe completely and copies the foe ability. Okay, I'm sure Pokemon have these abilities, like, uh, for example, a fire Pokemon could cause the sun to shine and increases fire damage, or a ground Pokemon could cause a sandstorm, if that is what it means, and even if that, I don't even know if this game has those features, I know they're in later games, I, I don't even know, I'm not even gonna learn roleplay. Uh, okay, I pressed the wrong button again, I really suck at this, so no. And stop learning roleplay, yes. I, if it's a really good move, I'm an idiot. If it isn't, then that's fine. Alright, I'll go left here, up here, and then, uh, oopsie daisy. Oh, there we go, next floor. Uh oh. There's a guy right there, well, a woman. Be cursed with me. Is that your chat up line? Oh, she's got two Pokemon. That makes a change. Might be a little bit more of a challenge. Well, we'll just go Confusion again. Um, I'm contemplating swapping out Kadabra in the next battle just to um, have a bit of a mix. Maybe I'll take out Charmeleon for a bit, try and get him to a Charizard soon. At the same time, though, having Kadabra out makes things so easy because I just one-shot every Pokemon uh, that tries to beat me, so it makes it easy for me. Critical hit, it's not like I needed it. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, go to Pokemon, I go to Charmeleon. Oh, we'll swap them around just so I can uh, train up my, my main Pokemon. My good old buddy Charmeleon. Okay, can I get past all this? Oh, yes, I can. Uh, I found an awakening, which is good if my Pokemon falls asleep, which I hope it doesn't because, uh, holy shit, you have good eyesight in this fog. I don't know how you manage that. I guess you're in it all the time, so I guess your eyes adjust to these things. Another Ghastly, maybe? Oh, I have good prediction skills. Maybe I should be a psychic. Alrighty, we'll just use Ember, because for some reason, Ember's the only good fire attack I have. I, I'm not too sure when he learns Flamethrower or, or even Fire Blast. Shouldn't be too long, I would not think. I know for a fact he should learn Slash soon. I, I think it might be level 34, or maybe when he actually evolves into a Charizard, and I got a Great Ball! Nice! Nice stuff. Ghost? No. Qua! <laughs> So that's what you do when anybody walks past. You're like, are you a ghost? No? Okay, I'm just going to make a really weird noise at you. God, what's that, that What's that in their hands? It's probably some Japanese uh, anti-ghost thing. Piece of cardboard. Like a fan, I don't know. Let's like drive ghosts away. Where is the ghost? 
It's all in your head. Next floor. I think there's only maybe one more floor after this. Um, okay, that's a dead end. Oops, it easy. There's a woman here. Oh, I actually got past her. This makes a change. What? Entered the purified and protected zone. Yami's Pokemon. Oopsie daisy. We're fully healed. Well, that's just fine and dandy. My Pokemon are healed. I didn't expect that. O okay, I didn't. I didn't want to enter you twice. Purified, protected zone. Uh, oh, another trainer. Zombies. Uh, okay, you're obviously in the wrong tower. This is the ghost tower. <laughs> I didn't know this game had zombies. And Ember yet again. It's the way forward. When in doubt, Ember out. Okay. Okay, let's go. I'll ignore that Pokeball. Maybe I'll regret it in the future. Repels effect ward off. Or war off. Uh, we'll just use another one then, won't we? I have 13 spare. It's great, actually. I'll buy. I'm just going to keep buying Repels when I have so much money. Okay guys then, I'm going to leave this one a little short, the next episode will be up tomorrow, providing this gets the ratings that uh, I would like it to get, just 100 ratings and I'll load one tomorrow too. Alright, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode.